Hey shooters, in my garage getting ready for another out of the box and to the match gun review. Uh, today's gun, as the thing right said right there, Nordic Components. What does Nordic Components make? Well, they make a whole bunch of stuff. As a manufacturing company, they make a lot of gun parts and they make some really nice guns. This is one fine example of a very nice gun. This is the pistol caliber carbine from Nordic Components in 9mm, 16 inch barrel. Their muzzle brake appears to be very nicely designed muzzle brake. Uh, very highly, beautifully polished bolt carrier, and it's a two-piece bolt carrier. I won't get into that right now, but again, I don't have much time this morning because my wife and I are working to try to assist uh, at a greater level at our local matches, so we need to get there quickly so we can help set up a new registration. Uh, the buffer tube, the buffer itself is uh, uh, about uh, 1.8 ounces heavier than a standard. The buffer itself is an A5 length. It's not carbine, it's not rifle, it's in between. Uh, they call it the A5 length, and the a standard A5 Viltor buffer, the one I have stamped Viltor, is uh, 6.1 ounces, and this is a beautiful piece of stainless steel, and it also has buffer weights in it, and it weighs 7.9 ounces. Uh, appears to be a standard uh, buffer spring, not a heavy weight or anything else buffer spring inside. Uh, uh, MTF buttstock, I normally don't care for these exposed uh, buffer tube buttstocks because they grab my facial hair. This one doesn't seem to do that, just in dry fire. Uh, so, I mean, it's Magpul furniture. Check out the attention to detail here. I'll show you if I can see it on here. You probably can't see it. Probably won't focus that close. I don't think I'll focus that close. But it says 25 inch pounds max for that uh, cross, cross bolt. That is really the attention to detail in a nutshell that Nordic puts into everything they build. Uh, they don't rush things to, to market. They really take their time and make sure it is as good as they can make it. I think it uh, has to do with the president of the car company, Yarmo and his uh, mission statement for the company. Let's precision engineer everything and build it as nice as we can. The price will come out after we build the product. This is a very nice little carbine. Uh, will it work? I'm confident it will. Everything I had in Nordic uh, line works very well. But this has got a really, really cool, interesting feature. Now, if you go buy a XYZ uh, pistol caliber carbine, you can get it with a Glock mag. You have to go to a different brand if you want it with a Colt mag. You have to go to a different brand if you want it to run 2011 mags. So you are not stuck, but you are pigeonholed into buying only that brand's pistol caliber carbine if you want that magazine style. Here, you buy the quality that is Nordic Components, and you can have a Glock magazine well. You can push that little cross pin out and pop in a mag well that says 2011 on it. And then it takes 2011 mags. You can pop that one out with the same cross pin, drop this into place, and this says M&P on it, and this takes the M Smith & Wesson M&P mags. So you have a variety of magazines, and they're working on more. Those, and they don't, it doesn't come with all the magazine wells. You just choose the one you want to use, which you probably don't need a variety of different ones. But again, you can have the same level of quality uh, and craftsmanship that is Nordic Components, and you get to choose the magazine feeding device of, that you like. So today's uh, Out of the Box to the Mets Gun Review will be this fine looking pistol caliber carbine. Uh, I hate to make excuses up front, but uh, Yarmo told me that they only sell them with the um, uh, mil-spec mil trigger, the seven and a half pound, whatever it is, mil-spec trigger. And that makes sense. Most people are very, and they ask, it makes sense that uh, people are very persnickety, are very particular about what triggers they want in their pistol caliber carbines or their ARs. Uh, and there's also been some uh, issues with some triggers not working with some pistol caliber carbines. So just put a mil spec one in, let the end user decide what trigger he likes to put in it and put that in it. So in case I'm not really as uh, fantastic with this gun as I want to be, never know until I shoot it, uh, it, it is a mil spec trigger and it may hamper my gilt edge performance. <laughs> like, that's an excuse I need to lay out there. Anyways, guys, Nordic Components, out of the box, to the match, gun review. See you on the range. Yay! Nordic Components Super Pistol Caliber Carbine. 16 and a half inch barrel. Feels nice. It's a stock trigger, so don't yell at me because it's just a military stock trigger. Handsome, handsome carbine. It's not that deep, but that's about where they're located. Yes. Right underneath my belt. Are you ready to shoot her? Sure. Stand by. Yeah, it's got a seven pound military trigger. It's like, oh, it's a big stall. It's like, is it breaking? No. Just keep pulling. Just keep pulling. Are you ready? Stand by. One, eight, nine. 
Uh, yeah, just slap the crap out of the trigger, it works just fine. Stand by. <laughs> two, five, two. Nice pick. I didn't know which one I missed till after I was like, oh, I never got that one. This is fun. Pistol caliber carbines are cool. I think I'm past the point. Stand by. Two, one, three. Two, one, three. Last round. Nice job, Nordic. This is cool. Stand by. One, six, eight. That's fun! <laughs> Shooter, load make ready. Nordic components. You know, they've, everything they make is beautiful and handsome, and this is uh, no exception. And it runs really well, too. Stand by. Three point zero three. I've got the I don't know. With an extra shot. Yeah, I'm not sure what was going on there, so I just, oh, I think I might have missed that one. Let's just shoot it again. Stand by. 2.63. Last run. Stand by. 2.63. Two point nine three. Man, this thing's fun to shoot. Nice pickup. Yay! It says Cal Multi, but it's nine millimeter and it's Nordic and it's cool. Let me ready, sir. All right. <laughs> Let's see. This should be interesting. I, I wish I had a super high speed trigger now. Stand by. Stand by. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> One, two, three. Come on, give me some cadence here. Let's go. Stand by. <laughs> Dang it. One, four, nine. Extra shot, too. Yep. Stand by. I want to go faster! Stand by! There we go. One, one, five. That it? I think so. That's it. Whew. Yeah, military triggers are not conducive to really high speed shooting. Are you ready to shoot? Sure. Stand by. <laughs> Well, that's one way. Yeah, my brain isn't working on that. Again? 375. 375, thank you. Are you ready, shooter? Stand by. And two, six, seven. And not that way either. <laughs> Stand by. Two, three, three. Two, three, three. Different way every time. Stand by. Two, six, six. Two, six, six. We're all done. Nordic is running flawless.
just absolutely flawless. I don't feel it bumping, I don't feel it feeding, it just runs. Stand by. 213. Stand by. 208. Stand by. 191. Nice job. Stand by. Ah! <laughs> 217. Last drink. Stand by. 194. Down, sir. I'm going to check this. Thank you very much. Man, I like shooting this thing. Yarmo, thank you very much. This thing is wicked cool, man. Please don't ask for it back, but if you do, I'm buying it. All right. Are you ready? Load and make ready. Okay, yeah, we're going big, big stick, baby. With my Taylor Freelance base pad. Stand by. 2.48. Stand by. 2.06. Stand by. 1.70. Stand by. Because it's flying in the ah. 2.65. Two work on it. Last run. Get you twice. For example, Stand by. we were shooting at 300 yards. 1.76. Yay! Man, this is a cool gun to shoot. Chris uh, shows up. Chris, uh, Thank you, sir. I've been trying to avoid this division, but I can avoid it no longer. This is the gun to shoot. Oh, and I probably should have shortened the stock down to my normal length. It's okay. That's what you get when you do out of the box craziness. Thanks a lot, uh, Yarmo. I really appreciate it. Again, I don't want to send it back, so send me an invoice with a proper price or full retail. I'm taking it home. Hey shooters, just a little added bonus I wanted to hand to you, or actually a feature of the Nordic Components uh, pistol caliber carbine that is really cool. Now people wonder why, why would you need it to run with different kinds of magazines? Well, you can buy one high quality platform and not have to buy a platform that only comes in a certain magazine. Because there's a, there's a company that makes an STI mag gun, but not a Glock mag gun. And there's guns that lots of uh, gun makers that make a Glock mag fed pistol caliber carbine. Well, Nordic make one, makes one that feeds out of any magazine you might have. So I'll do a quick demo for you. Right now I got the Glock magazine in. So I'll launch a couple rounds downrange. There's five rounds. So now I take this little push pin that I brought with me. Push this little pin out right here. Oh, put the bolt forward. Pull this little handy dandy magazine shoot off. I get one that says on the back, S&W. Which is for the S and W pistol, and I got an S and W magazine here, the Hammond P series. Charge it up, and wow, that's pretty cool. Well, let's take it off again. What else are we gonna swap to? Well, what do I have? Let's swap to one that says 2011 on it. And really, interesting thing about the 2011 one. And now, if I want to lock back, you notice the gun is locked back twice. There's another little uh, uh, sheet metal lever you replace in here. Very simple to do. I don't feel like doing it right now on camera. So it'll lock back on the last round. I didn't change it. The gun still works. But this one actually has kind of a, uh, a, 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 a maybe replaceable, but ice-like magwell on it. Kind of neat for the 2011 crowd. So we put a 2011 magazine in the bottom. This happens to be an SPS magazine. I don't have a 2011 uh, magazine or STI or SV magazine. So let's shoot over here. There we go. There's five rounds out of that magazine. 
Well, that's three magazine well changes and three magazine changes. Bonus! Got a bonus round here. In my pocket, this is a para ordnance 9mm magazine. Pretty cool. It goes in the same STI magazine and drops free. And I can drop the bolt and... It also works in that same magazine well. So, I've got three magazine wells. Works with four styles of magazines. I understand that Nordic is always coming out with new ones or working on new ones all the time. But this is a great working pistol caliber carbine. Uh, it shoots right around, almost no group was over two and a half inches at 50 yards. And I had some, some groups right around an inch, inch and a half, depending on the ammo. It seemed to really like heavier bullets. The 147 seemed to perform much better than, uh, than the 115s. What more could you ask for in a pistol caliber carbine? From Nordic Components, I dig it. I think you will too. Um, again, uh, Yarmo, you're not getting this one back. This one stays with me. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks. Appreciate you watching. Please check out my sponsors, whether it's Defender Outdoors or Federal Ammunition, who hands me piles of ammunition to run these guns with. Um, Burris Optics I have on top of the gun. Okay, Defender Burris. You know, this is not a Savage rifle, but you know, patronize Savage, if you, do, if you will, because that really helps me to keep my channel going and allows me to continue to uh, finance the channel which is, you know, from a great deal is in out of my pocket. So the more you guys can help me by, by taking care of my sponsors, by buying something from them, on, or at least considering them on your next purchase, the longer my channel will be in business. The Nordic Pistol Caliber Carbine in 9mm. We'll talk to you guys later. Thanks a lot for watching. I really do appreciate it. Bye for now.